Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today to take a look at a really awesome temperature and humidity sensor. Take a look at it. The screen is just awesome with the technology that I will show you in just a few moments. Inkbird is a brand that we are testing out for the first time, but for what I've seen, what I've tested and what I've read, they use top-notch hardware in terms of sensors and this seems to be one of the simplest ones that they have. I will leave the link down below for the IBS TH5 Wi-Fi, which is this one right over here, but also for the website where we will see a lot of sensors, including one that caught my attention, which is supposed to measure the temperature of meat and fish on the restaurant business, which was something that I did quite a few years back. And what we did uh, was to take notes of the temperature. At this moment, with this technology, we will have everything on the app, which we will see in just a few moments. So imagine if you work in the restaurant business and you have a thermometer that you can put and registers the temperature directly to your phone. Just awesome. Awesome as well is if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer and you still haven't activated, don't forget to check out KeysFan where you can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below in the video description, it will get even cheaper. So just in case you want to check that out, the link will be down below. Now, having all this information right over here is awesome, but in my opinion, as you guys know, is great when we combine this with smart home appliances. And for example, I can trigger water heater, I can trigger a heater, I can trigger a AC, and Inkbird is compatible with Home Assistant, so this will be great and I can say, okay, when you reach 20 degrees, turn on the heater, when you reach 30 degrees, turn on the AC. Here on the office, it's always a bit warm, at this moment, 20 eight so i have a lot of machines working now that being said let's go straight for it inside the package we will find the ibs th5 wi-fi one usb type c cable and a user guide the screen has 3.7 inches so quite big with electronic ink display which is this kind of display that we can see really well it doesn't matter the brightness level that we have if it's outside or inside we will always be able to see it looks like it was drawn but it's real and really easy to read on any situation it has a on off button it has a button to change between celsius and fahrenheit and a pairing button it can be placed on any surface like i do have here on the office but it can also be hanged on the wall with this hole right over here actually i've got two units that i'm testing out one is right here on the office measuring and the other one is on my living room on the wall so really easy to use and if we decide to put it here great and we can hide it just for information and to trigger a air conditioner or a heater but if i want to put it on a wall like i did on my living room then great we have a lot of information right there now in terms of battery it has an integrated battery of 2000 milliamps and this means that we may have battery enough for 12 months if we use a 60 minute refresh i'm using a 10 minute refresh time at this moment so we will have two months of battery it does charge quite fast so it's just a matter of do i want to have it for two months for six months and i will show you the option to change or to 12 months and just have an update from 60 to 60 minutes in terms of put it to work is really easy i just needed to install the inkbird app and then i put it the th5 in pairing mode I just followed these steps on the app and basically that was it. And talking about the app, which is really interesting, let's take a look at it. And this is the home screen where we can add more devices if we want to. So I can select smart controllers or I can go to food. And as you can see this one right over here, we just put it on a piece of meat. It will register the temperature directly to the phone. I wish I had this 20 years ago. That would have been awesome. Now, what we have right over here is the uh, possibility to add more devices. At this moment, I've got two, as you can see, the living room, which is upstairs and the office as we can see the office is always warmer than the living room so sometimes i have to put the ac 
on. Now, the information that we can get on a glimpse is exactly this one right over here. 20, uh, the temperature and humidity at this moment, living room 23.6 with 71% humidity and right over here 28.3 with 61.2 humidity. Yeah, one is not updated yet because it has a 10 minute interval. So that's the difference that we are seeing right over here. Now, besides that, we also, if I press right over here, it will give me the general information that we have. Yesterday, we had a lot of rain but today it's not bad at all. Besides this menu, we also have the smart tab, which we can put automatizations where I was talking about turning on a AC or turning on so that we can be warmer or colder depending on what we need. And then we also have the shop where we can just go there and purchase items and we have the information in this particular case, my personal information. Now, besides this, if I press one of these, we will see that we have more info besides the temperature and humidity. We also have the dew points and the atmospheric pressure. So right over here, we will have more detailed info. And I really love this because as you can see, it will register every change that it has. So when I imagine the meat and fish uh, temperature, I do imagine this and it's just great because I can measure the temperature. It will register on the app. And if I have an inspection, which we had back then every single week, more or less, then I just need to show, okay, it was this, it was this, it was this. Everything is registered automatically. It's just awesome. Now, the same for this kind of sensor. We can use this to uh, see the values that we have on an area that we are measuring it. And for example, this is the living room. We can see that there was no big difference. We had an average of 24, minimum 23.6 and maximum 26.8. So there we go. Uh, humidity, we will also be able to measure the average minimum minimum and maximum, the dew point and also the, the pressure. So we can see these different results. And if I press right over here uh, on the more, sorry, it will show me a graphic and I can change this graphic from one day to one week, one month, three months up to one year, which is also cool. I also have a shortcut where I can change from temperature to humidity to the dew point and then to the pressure, which is awesome. I have option right over here to give me all the results and I can select this by um, date. So as you can see, the changes right over here, the time, which is 10 minutes interval. So changes, it changes what the change, the temperature or no changes at all. It also records if there was any normal activity, we can filter that or abnormal activity, which there was no um, recurrence of a normal activity. There's also an option which is to share this information and I can export uh, just one value or I can export all of them and then treat this data on Excel or something like that to give me a more detailed report to send to someone, which is really awesome as well. So basically this is the uh, information that we will have, the way that we can see it in a glimpse, which is just awesome. But we also have some options right over here. First, we can change the uh, temperature Celsius to Fahrenheit. So I just need to press the button right over here or press the button right over there. We can also change it here at the back. So if I press it, we will have Fahrenheit and if I press it again we have Celsius so we can decide where we want to change the name I can also change this one is the living room message center I don't have any messages right over here but they will appear and I can filter by um, temperature humidity or all and then I can go back that uh, upload frequency this is what will decide how much time our battery will last 10 minutes I did the math is two months 30 minutes will last up to six months and then 60 minutes will last for one year. So it's just awesome. But I do prefer the 10 minutes, which will give me a lot more data, a lot more changes. So for now, 10 minutes, probably later, I would put on 30 minutes or 60 minutes. Comfort level plan, we can decide uh, where we are placing this so that the algorithm of the Inkbird sensor will let us know what is correct for outdoor, for the car, for a wine cabinet, for the pet house and so on. And we can change if we want 
custom and we can change right over here as well. So at this moment, we are using the default for home, which is where we are. And then we also have the alarm settings where I can just measure if I want to have an alarm uh, when the temperature is above 25 or 35, for example, or if it's below 10, then it will show me an alarm and it will give me a notification on my phone. This is great if I'm not at home, but I want to keep informed if there's something different on my house. And although it's not a smoke alarm or fire alarm, if the temperature is too high, then probably something is wrong. It also has the flu risk uh, that we can measure if it's moderate or high. Hi, and I'm a bit setting on the settings, but the algorithm knows what it's doing, so okay. We have the buzzer switch, which we can turn off or on, the noise that you just heard a few uh, minutes ago and then we have the calibration of values if I have another thermometer another sensor that gives me a really high precise number and I know that that one is correct and I want to have exactly the same right over here and by some reason there's not I can adjust 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 to be exactly as the other one that I have so this is a great option as well although we don't know if this one is the right or if the other one is the right but the Inkbird here is giving us the option. Even if this one is right, we can adjust it according to the other one that probably we cannot adjust. And this is awesome. And then we have more settings like delete all the data that we have using help online. And we also have more info about the device, like device name, offline uh, notification. If the device becomes offline, I do not have it activated. And then check the device network updates and remove the device. And basically this is is it. So a lot of information on the sensor, a lot of information on the app and the screen with 3.7 inches is one of the factors that I do believe that it's a positive factor because we can put it anywhere and we will see it without being too close to it. So if you are um, not only at home but on your own business, this will be a awesome. Now I would say that some would say, hey, I would prefer something smaller then this would not be the case. But if you want to read it well and be visible regardless of the brightness levels, then just awesome. And then all this information that we have seen and also on the app. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. And if you did so, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.